February 13th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Exodus chapters 29 and 30 from the Old Testament. Now this is what you are to do for them, to consecrate them, so that they may minister as my priest. Take a young bull and two rams without blemish, and bread made without yeast, and perforated cakes without yeast mixed with oil, and wafers without yeast spread with oil. You are to make them using fine wheat flour. You are to put them in one basket and present them in the basket along with the bull and the two rams. You are to present Aaron and his sons at the entrance of the tent of meeting. You are to wash them with water and take the garments and clothe Aaron with the tunic, the robe of the ephod, the ephod, and the breastpiece. You are to fasten the ephod on him by using the skillfully woven waistband. You are to put the turban on his head and put the holy diadem on the turban. You are to take the anointing oil and pour it on his head and anoint him. You are to present his sons and clothe them with tunics and wrap the sashes around Aaron and his sons and put headbands on them and so the ministry of priesthood will belong to them by a perpetual ordinance. Thus you are to consecrate Aaron and his sons. You are to present the bull at the front of the tent of meeting, and Aaron and his sons are to put their hands on the head of the bull. You are to kill the bull before the Lord at the entrance to the tent of meeting, and take some of the blood of the bull and put it on the horns of the altar with your finger. All the rest of the blood you are to pour out at the base of the altar. You are to take all the fat that covers the entrails, and the lobe that is above the liver, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them, and burn them on the altar. But the meat of the bull, its skin and its dung, you are to burn up outside the camp. It is the purification offering. You are to take one ram, and Aaron and his sons are to lay their hands on the ram's head. And you are to kill the ram, and take its blood, and splash it all around on the altar. Then you are to cut the ram into pieces, and wash the entrails and its legs, and put them on its pieces, and on its head. And burn the whole ram on the altar. It is a burnt offering to the Lord, a soothing aroma. It is an offering made by fire to the Lord. You are to take the second ram, and Aaron and his sons are to lay their hands on the ram's head. And you are to kill the ram and take some of its blood, and put it on the tip of the right ear of Aaron, and on the tip of the right ear of his sons, and on the thumb of their right hand, and on the big toe of their right foot, and then splash the blood all around on the altar. You are to take some of the blood that is on the altar and some of the anointing oil and sprinkle it on Aaron, on his garments, on his sons, and on his sons' garments with him, so that he may be holy, he and his garments along with his sons and his sons' garments. You are to take from the ram the fat, the fat tail, the fat that covers the entrails, the lobe of the liver, the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them, and the right thigh, for it is the ram for consecration and one round flat cake of bread, one perforated cake of oiled bread, and one wafer from the basket of bread made without yeast that is before the Lord. You are to put all these things in Aaron's hands and in his son's hands, and you are to wave them as a wave offering before the Lord. Then you are to take them from their hands and burn them on the altar for a burnt offering, for a soothing aroma before the Lord. It is an offering made by the fire to the Lord. You are to take the breast of the ram of Aaron's consecration. You are to wave it as a wave offering before the Lord, and it is to be your share. You are to sanctify the breast of the wave offering and the thigh of the contribution, which were waved and lifted up as a contribution from the ram of consecration, from what belonged to Aaron and to his sons. It is to belong to Aaron and to his sons from the Israelites, by a perpetual ordinance, for it is a contribution. It is to be a contribution from the Israelites, from their peace offerings, their contribution to the Lord. The holy garments that belong to Aaron are to belong to his sons after him, so that they may be anointed in them and consecrated in them. The priest who succeeds him from his sons, when he first comes to the tent of meeting to minister in the holy place, is to wear them for seven days. You are to take the ram of the consecration and cook its meat in a holy place. Aaron and his sons are to eat the meat of the ram and the bread that was in the basket at the entrance of the tent of meeting. 
They are to eat those things by which atonement was made to consecrate and to set them apart, but no one else may eat them, for they are holy. If any of the meat from the consecration offering, or any of the bread is left over until morning, then you are to burn up what is left over. It must not be eaten, because it is holy. Thus you are to do for Aaron and for his sons, according to all that I have commanded you. You are to consecrate them for seven days. Every day you are to prepare a bull for purification offerings for atonement. You are to purge the altar by making atonement for it, and you are to anoint it to set it apart as holy. For seven days you are to make atonement for the altar and set it apart as holy. Then the altar will be most holy. Anything that touches the altar will be holy. Now this is what you are to prepare on the altar every day continually, two lambs a year old. The first lamb you are to prepare in the morning, and the second lamb you are to prepare around sundown. With the first lamb offer a tenth of an ephah, a fine flour mixed with a fourth of a hin of oil from pressed olives, and a fourth of a hin of wine as a drink offering. The second lamb you are to offer around sundown, you are to prepare for it the same meal offering as for the morning, and the same drink offering for a soothing aroma, an offering made by fire to the Lord. This will be a regular burnt offering throughout your generations at the entrance of the tent of meeting before the Lord, where I will meet with you to speak to you there. There I will meet with the Israelites, and it will be set apart as holy by my glory. So I will set apart as holy the tent of meeting and the altar, and I will set apart as holy Aaron and his sons, that they may minister as priests to me. I will reside among the Israelites, and I will be their God. And they will know that I am the Lord their God, who brought them out from the land of Egypt, so that I may reside among them. I am the Lord their God. You are to make an altar for burning incense. You are to make it of acacia wood. Its length is to be a foot and a half, and its width a foot and a half. It will be square. Its height is to be three feet, with its horns of one piece with it. You are to overlay it with pure gold, its top, its four walls, and its horns, and make a surrounding border of gold for it. You are to make two gold rings for it under its border, on its two flanks. You are to make them on its two sides. The rings will be places for poles to carry it with. You are to make the poles of acacia wood and overlay them with gold. You are to put it in front of the curtain that is before the Ark of the Testimony, before the atonement lid that is over the testimony, where I will meet you. Aaron is to burn sweet incense on it morning by morning. When he attends to the lamps, he is to burn incense. When Aaron sets up the lamps around sundown, he is to burn incense on it. It is to be a regular incense offering before the Lord throughout your generations. You must not offer strange incense on it, nor burnt offering, nor meal offering, and you must not pour out a drink offering on it. Aaron is to make atonement on its horns once in the year with some of the blood of the sin offering for atonement. Once in the year he is to make atonement on it throughout your generations. It is most holy to the Lord. The Lord spoke to Moses. When you take a census of the Israelites according to the number, then each man is to pay a ransom for his life to the Lord when you number them, so that there will be no plague among them when you number them. Everyone who crosses over to those who are numbered is to pay this, a half shekel according to the shekel of the sanctuary. A shekel weighs 20 giras. The half shekel is to be an offering to the Lord. Everyone who crosses over to those numbered from 20 years old and up is to pay an offering to the Lord. The rich are not to increase it, and the poor are not to pay less than the half shekel when giving the offering of the Lord to make atonement for your lives. You are to receive the atonement money from the Israelites and give it for the service of the tent of meeting. It will be a memorial for the Israelites before the Lord to make atonement for your lives. The Lord spoke to Moses. You are also to make a large bronze basin with a bronze stand for washing. You are to put it between the tent of meeting and the altar and put water in it. And Aaron and his sons must wash their hands and their feet from it. When they enter the tent of meeting, they must wash with water so that they do not die. 
Also, when they approach the altar to minister by burning incense as an offering made by fire to the Lord, they must wash their hands and their feet so that they do not die. And this will be a perpetual ordinance for them and for their descendants throughout their generations. The Lord spoke to Moses, Take choice spices, twelve and a half pounds of free-flowing myrrh, half that, about six and a quarter pounds of sweet-smelling cinnamon, six and a quarter pounds of sweet-smelling cane, and twelve and a half pounds of cassia, all weighed according to the sanctuary shekel, and four quarts of olive oil. You are to make this into a sacred anointing oil, a perfume compound the work of a perfumer. It will be sacred anointing oil. With it you are to anoint the tent of meeting, the ark of the testimony, the table and all its utensils, the lampstand and its utensils, the altar of incense, the altar for the burnt offering and all its utensils, and the laver and its base. So you are to sanctify them and they will be most holy. Anything that touches them will be holy. You are to anoint Aaron and his sons and sanctify them so that they may minister as my priest. And you are to tell the Israelites, this is to be my sacred anointing oil throughout your generations. It must not be applied to people's bodies, and you must not make any like it with the same recipe. It is holy, and it must be holy to you. Whoever makes perfume like it, and whoever puts any of it on someone not a priest, will be cut off from his people. The Lord said to Moses, Take spices, gum resin, onica, glabunum, and pure frankincense of equal amounts, and make it into an incense, a perfume, the work of a perfumer. It is to be finely ground and pure and sacred. You are to beat some of it very fine and put some of it before the Ark of the Testimony in the tent of meeting where I will meet with you. It is to be most holy to you. And the incense that you are to make, you must not make for yourselves using the same recipe. It is to be most holy to you, belonging to the Lord. Whoever makes anything like it to use as a perfume will be cut off from his people. God, I think about the, the common everyday items that you took hold of in the story, uh, such as cinnamon, and set them apart and made them holy because you said that they were holy. And you commanded certain restrictions around those. And with your son, Jesus Christ, you did the same thing for us. You set us apart. We are heirs to the kingdom. Today, I would just like to ask prayers for everyone listening, that they remember that you set us apart, that you chose us to be your children, that you, before the world was even created, thought of us, that everyone listening to this video right now, you thought of them, you thought of who they would be and what they would look like and what their heart would be like. You thought of every single one of them before the world even existed. You chose them to have a relationship with you. You set us apart and told us that we would be different than people of the world. So today I pray for everyone listening that they remember their value that their value doesn't come from what people around them tell them. It definitely doesn't come from society. That their value comes from you, God. That you set apart something that in this world is common, which is people. <laughs> and you made us something special. You made us something special to glorify you, to give us gifts to help a minister to broken people. I pray that people will remember their value comes from you. That the only person that they should care about pleasing is you. God, thank you for taking something very common and setting it apart for something very special, which is to glorify you something very sacred, which is to tell other people about you 
and help everyone who's listening to this video right now hear your words and know that they have value and know that they have a purpose and know that you have grand and glorious things planned for all of us as you promised in the Bible. God, I just love you so much. In your son's name we pray. Amen. Oh,